Hi everyone, I'm Ed DeRosa. We're here at the Keeneland two-year-old sale taking a bre break from the breezes with trainer John Ward. John, you have a big weekend coming up with Dancing in Her Dreams in the Ashland. Spoke to you earlier today and you sort of said these are the races uh, owners like Mr. Oxley point for. Are you trying to find a few others for him here at Keeneland two-year-old? Well, absolutely. That's what we've been doing all spring is we've been trying to uh, resupply and restock the outfit and uh, that's the the goal is is we want pedigrees and we want animals that look like they're going to be classic runners and uh, we want to be in the arena on the big days and that's uh, that's uh, the first Saturday of May and the first Friday of May. Now Dancing in Her Dreams, uh, a yearling purchase, this is a two-year-old sale. What are some of the subtle differences in how you approach each sale in terms of what, what you're looking for in yearlings versus two-year-olds? Well, in yearlings, we're looking for the athlete, and we're looking for, um, we've got uh, four or five, 6,000 horses to go through. So we're just looking for that superior individual. And in our two-year-old training sales, we get to, I say, look at the whole card. We get to see speed, and we get to see horses move. So, so we change our parameters a little bit, give up maybe a little bit on confirmation and pedigree, and, and go more for the athlete. Now, uh, to sort of use a pop culture reference, are you more of a American Idol judge where you want to see it right in front of you, or are you more an X Factor judge where you're sort of looking for potential down the road? I think I'm always an X Factor judge. I, I need to, uh, what we see here, you have to have the tools to develop into an, to another category about four levels higher. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, at the two-year-old sale, is it something that you see on the track, or do you find more that's your starting point, and then you, you go to the barn and then, then see if they back it up when you see them closer up in person? Um, we, my success has always been watching the, the horses train and then taking the, the good good prospects looking at them at the barn see what they go it's kind of like a basketball coach looking for an all-star recruit he watches them play play on the court and if he can play then he goes uh, goes to to see if he's uh, got the academics and the uh, character to be a good champion and bringing it back full circle to dancing in our dreams uh you, you excited for saturday has she been training the way you'd want to see going into a grade one race yeah she's been she's been doing good and and uh, you know it's a uh, I was hoping to have a little more muscle on her at this stage of her career, but she grew pretty much uh, her skeletal part of her grew. But her, I'm, uh, she's going to be even more developed towards the end of the season. She's, again, she's like one of those big, wiry basketball players. The centers, you never know which way they're going to go when they're a sophomore. And she's, she's got all the ability and all the heart. So uh, she'll be, uh, I think she'll be good for Saturday, but she'll, she's got a lot of future. Great. Well, we really appreciate the time, John, and wish you a lot of luck at the sale and at the races. Thank you.